राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू टू सिनेरियो बेस्ड पावर बी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच वर रिसेंटली आज इन द डेटा एनलिस्ट इंटरव्यू फॉर द क्लाइंट मॉर्गन स्टैनले these two scenarios were provided to me by one of my linkedin connections unfortunately he couldn't clear that interview round but he shared the scenarios to me so that i can prepare a video on, on top of that so that you all can be better prepared for your upcoming interviews so let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs all right let's see the first scenario so you can see on the screen this was the input table provided which is question number 1 you where you have three columns emp department and salary where you have three records d1 d2 d3 respective department and the respective salary is 300 300 and 400 now the ask from the interviewer was write sql or dax code to achieve the table visuals below you have to create something like this where you have emp department salary and you have maximum salary which is 400 400 400 so i hope this you can easily create it using a measure what i would like to discuss is this which is output number 2 which is we need to create the structure like this where you have emp department and salary but the rows are only two where you have clubbed the employee aa and their respective departments d1 with a delimiter line and d2 and the last row is cc with department number d3 in the salary part the summation which is 300 plus 300 which is 600 and the respective cc 400 should be shown shown let me know in the comment box how will you create this table in sql database okay let us see how we can do this using dax so i have come to my power bi desktop i have already loaded the table which is sheet number 1 if i go to sheet number 1 you will find the same three rows so we need to create a table output right as i had shown you we need to create a table output like this emp department and salary if we have to generate a table what should we do we should create on click on new table and make use of summarize function let me name it as output 1 equal to so as i mentioned summarize dax function we will use the first argument is table so our table is sheet 1 so comma the second is group by column name so which column name we should consider over here to group by it should be our employee which is emp so this is group by column name 1 let's proceed with the third argument which is the name and the fourth is expression so the name should be what let me name it as anything for example dpt okay now moving on to the expression which is now this is the most tricky part how to club the two rows together in this expression part for this i will make use of concatenate x dax function now the next is the first argument under concatenate x function it should be a table but here is the tricky part we should not directly utilize sheet 1 as the table here we should make use of values function okay under values what should be my column i should make use of department column because i need to have a unique list of department i need to club the unique departments of respective employees right so i will make use of values dax function over here i hope it is clear so closing the bracket for values function now what is my expression my expression is my department column itself and what is the delimiter which is my next argument my delimiter is pipe sign right now closing the bracket for concatenate x so right now we what we have done we have done the expression part for this name argument you remember we have name argument and then we have expression so the name is dpt which is basically department only and the expression is this okay now next one is again we need to give another name which is salary and then the expression will be sum of our salary column right closing the bracket for summarize function i hope this code is clear let's see if this gives us the correct result or not and you can clearly see on the screen we have employee we have d1 pipe sign d2 and we have the respective summation which is 600 in the first row and for cc we have 400 respectively so i hope this dax code is clear to you now i will check your sql code what you will be writing in the comment box so do write it whatever you know whatever you think of all right let's move towards the next scenario so the next scenario which you can see on the screen is this you have one input table which has three columns category column customer column and sum of sales so you have category like furniture office setup 
and then you have customers like Alice, Alice and the respective sales 1015. Expected output. What is the expected output? output? So the expected output is you need to have category, you need to have customer, you need to have sum of sales and you need to have maximum sales per customer. So for example, we have two rows of Alice and that Alice had done transactions or sales 1015 rupees respectively for example Indian rupees then the maximum sale of Alice is 1000 so in both the rows I should get to see 1000 and 1000 so per customer the maximum sale done is the requirement in the expected output let us see how we can create a measure in Power BI desktop to achieve this and you can see we have a customer slicer which has Alice, Bob, David right so now let me take you to the Power BI desktop and here I have again as I mentioned I have pulled the sheet 2 which is containing the same kind of structure where we have category column, customer column and total sales. Here I have Alice and David as respective examples. So here 1015 is the Alice sales. So I should get 1000 and 1000 and for David it is maximum sale is 800. So in both in all the three rows I should get 800 respectively. Let us see how we can create a measure for this. So let me create a new measure in this same table over here. I will name it as max sales per customer. So here we'll make use of our favorite and the most powerful DAX function which is calculate function. Under calculate function our expression is what our expression is max of what max of total sales from sheet 2 right. This is our first argument. Now the next is filter. What we should write in the filter part of calculate function. So here we understood that customer is the only column or the only filter which is being applied for the total sales to categorize. Right. Basically it is ignoring category column and any other column if it is in the table. So if we have to ignore the filter context of all the columns of a table except one column which is customer column then which function is useful over here the function will be all except all except takes two arguments our first argument will be sheet 2 which is the table name and the next one is the argument the argument should be our what our argument should be the customer column from sheet 2 right so many people get confused where to use all, where to use all selected and where to use all except. This is a very good use case of all except DAX function over here. Let us see if you are getting the right result or not. This is the measure. Let me pull it in a table visual. So we have category, we have customer and then we have total sales and then we have our re required column or measure which is maximum sales per customer. Let me sort it and you can see clearly for Alice we have 1000. And for David we have 800 respectively. As mentioned in the scenario we should also have a customer slicer. So if we uh, select something like for example if we select Alice it should show 1000. If we select David it will show 800. So I hope you understood both the solutions of both the scenarios. Please do leave a comment if you like this video. Share the video within your social media networks and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.